previously on MasterChef, Gordon Ramsay faced the home cooks in a mystery box challenge <laughs> with some unsavory results. One cook plated raw fish. And these kind of dishes send you home. Then, a twist in the elimination challenge. Remove one mixer. Are you kidding me? Had Luca target Jordan for elimination. Good luck. But when his plan backfired. They're delicious. <laughs> Malcolm became the third contestant. Good time is done. To leave the Master Chef kitchen. Tonight, it's a five alarm team challenge. Come on, guys, let's go. As the home cooks are dispatched to serve some of America's finest. Move your ass and make another plate. Right, Come on. With explosive results. We win to by the time you get it out here. This is ridiculous. You never call food disgusting. Everyone just calm the f down. Followed by a pressure test with an ending nobody sees coming. This competition is twisted. I don't know what's going to happen at any given moment. Today, the 16 remaining home cooks are at the iconic City Hall in Pasadena, California, and are about to face another Master Chef team challenge. We come down the steps and then we see a white, long table with white chairs. So we're thinking, who and what are we cooking for? Welcome, everybody. Great to see you guys. You're here at the beautiful Centennial Square in Pasadena, California. A truly heroic setting, since today you're going to be cooking for 101 off-duty firefighters, true American heroes. My dad is a Portland firefighter, and if I screw this one up, like, I'm going to be so disappointed in myself. And to help you create your heroic dishes, Walmart has provided a wide array of fresh meat and produce. Each team will have to serve a dish that showcases a 10-ounce New York strip steak of Walmart Choice Premium Beef, which is certified by the USDA for quality. Only one in five steaks is good enough to be called Walmart Choice Premium Beef. It's aged for flavor and tenderness. For a guy who lives on the grill, I didn't even know Walmart had all these steaks, so they, they look pretty good. I can't wait to get them on the grill and, and serve them out. You'll need to make two side dishes using the fresh Walmart produce you see here, which includes carrots, bell peppers, zucchini, mushrooms, and asparagus. You'll also make a delicious sauce to complement your steak. We only use the freshest top of the line ingredients here on MasterChef. Make sure your dishes reflect those standards. You'll have an hour and a half to cook a plate worthy of these heroes. And this isn't a buffet, it's a banquet. You'll have waiters. We're treating these heroes with the respect they deserve. You should too. Bethy and Bimi, you had the best dishes in the previous challenge, so you'll be team captains today. It's time to pick your teams. Both of you, please come over. Put them on, please. Bethy, you get to pick first. I have a couple people that I work well with and that I know are hard workers, and bottom line, I want a team that's hard workers. So the person I'm choosing, I already know. We don't even have to talk. We know what the other person's doing. So that would be Lynn. Lynn. Right away, I'm like, hey, I want to be on Bethy's team with Lynn over Beamy. I just feel that as a cook, she's just way more experienced. OK, Beamy. Jordan. Jordan. Good. Let's go. I'm not too excited to be on Beamy's team, but I'm going to try my hardest. I'm not trying any less. I'm here to win. And so my choice is definitely Jesse. Jesse. Wow. So I'm going to go with Mr. Eddie Jackson over there. Eddie. Good. Welcome to the red team. James. James. Third choice. Beamy. Who's it going to be, please? Luca. Luca. Howard. Howard. Natasha, let's go. Natasha, on my let's team. go. Johnny. Welcome to the blue team. Down to the wire. Five left. Oh, I'm going with Bree. Bree, welcome to the red team. Bethy. Savannah. I'm going to have her on sauces with James, so. Wow. OK, Bimi, three left. Yeah. Let's go through the weaknesses, strengths. Um, Start off with Beth. She doesn't strike me as someone who even eats, never mind stage. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Chrissy, I'm like, she eats. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she... <laughs> Holy <laughs> Would you like some gloves or should we just take him out now? I'm gonna f him up. <laughs> so, who's it gonna be? It sucks standing there with Kathy and Chrissy. I'm going with Beth. But when Beamy called my name, I was even more disappointed. I wanted to be on Bethy's team. Bethy, tough decision. Who's it gonna be? I'm gonna go with Chrissy. Chrissy. 
What is going on? I don't in know. These team picks. They saved the best for last. What can I say? I guess you and me, we see something they don't see. So prove them wrong. Welcome to the red team, Bethy. Yeah. Because you had the best cupcakes in the last challenge. We're giving you another advantage in this challenge. I like the sound of that. You have the chance to swap one member of your team with one member of Beanie's team. Please don't take Eddie or Jordan. The steak is going to be the star of the dish, and these are the guys that I need to make that star shine. If I steal this person, they're going to have a really rough time on the grill. Wow. So I am choosing Eddie. Oh, Betty. <laughs> you took Eddie. I'm like, no! Because I already know who's coming in return. Who are you choosing in exchange for Eddie? I'm choosing Chrissy. Wow, Chrissy. I get Chrissy. And just so happens, Chrissy's just mad at me because I called her a big girl. Get your ass oh, over there. So now she really added even more dysfunction to my team. It's like, oh, my god. Goodness. I am feeling pretty darn good about my team. Like, I feel like we're stacked right now. So, one stunning steak, two amazing sides, and a delicious sauce. Your 90 minutes starts now. Each team has to prepare a strip steak complete with a sauce and two sides for 101 heroic off-duty firefighters who will be arriving in just 90 minutes. The team with the least number of votes will face the dreaded pressure test. All right, guys, I want to hear ideas. Thank Mushrooms go and mushrooms. steak. Classic oh. pairing. I think a cauliflower puree. Do what kind of sauce are we going with? Red wine sauce. And if there's no red wine? We use chicken stock. We don't have Okay. Wine. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's make it happen. The red team has decided to accompany their steak with sautéed mushrooms, a cauliflower puree, and a simple reduction sauce while the red team have made a group decision on their menu. Let's boil the potatoes yeah. first, and I also want some red peppers in there. Over on the blue team, Bethy is making all of the decisions. I want you on the grill, you on the grill, and I want you on the grill. And you are doing the <laughs> sauce. I want the best dang sauce you've ever made. I've got two sauces to mind. I'm thinking a balsamic reduction or a chimichurri. So you guys, go ahead and start on the meat. OK. Bethy has decided that the blue team will make potatoes with red peppers and either a chimichurri or a balsamic reduction sauce to serve with their steak. So, predictions, Gordon, who's going to win? I'm going to go for the underdog. I'm going for the red team. Are you really? Yeah. Wow. Graham, who do you think is going to win? I think red team has a lot of heart and soul. The cauliflower puree, to me, I just think that for this weather and these guys, it might be a little heavy. Once we get this grill hot, we'll be good. Oh, there we go. What's your strategy on the meat? First of all, get my rub on that. Instantly, and they fire up that first grill and get it five, six hundred degrees and absolutely char an amazing sear. And then, literally, as those firefighters arrive, I'll last them and then get everybody synchronized almost like a conveyor belt. Ten stunning plates at a time. You want to start doing the rub? Now, you can go ahead and start cutting open the steaks. I work on the seeds. A cup of salt, a quarter cup of garlic powder, a quarter cup of black pepper. The blue team has started putting a rub on their steaks, but the red team is going to rely on their sauce for flavor. Red team, Captain. How you doing? Give me insights. What are we doing? Yes, cauliflower puree, a nice reduction sauce for the steaks. Sautéed mushrooms are going to go with the steak. Is there a rub on the steak? Rub? A rub? No, simple. We're letting the steak speak for itself. Why? It's a choice steak. Because we're going to have a beautiful sauce. So no seasoning at all. Guys, we're outside. So if there's one thing that goes well on the grill is what? A rub. Use your brain. Yeah. Rub, season, grill, taste. Yeah. Working out. You got one hour of prep left until the firefighters arrive. Whatever you do, don't let these embers burn out. Guys, 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 huddle in. Listen, let's focus. You know what we're doing here. These are choice steaks. Yeah, it's not yeah. like we got a cheap steak that we need to add and bring life to it. Let's keep up the good work. The 101 firefighters are just one hour away. Eddie, can you keep an eye on that pepper up there? Yeah, I got you. What's the sauce? I'm going to create two different sauces, a reduced balsamic sauce, and I'm going to do a classic chimichurri. I only want one sauce. I mean, I've never heard any so ridiculous all my life. Just one stunning sauce. Bethy. Yeah. Bethy got me started on two different sauces. Chimichurri was the first thing in my mind. Obviously, trying to do two sauces at once, stupid. What sauce are you serving? I'm debating between two sauces. OK, so you don't know what you're doing. Unbelievable. So here's the thing. Stop wasting time. OK. Bethy, I'm talking to you now. I promise you it's going to be one stunning sauce.
Red team, blue team, you have 45 minutes left until the firefighters arrive. With time running out, Beamy's hands-off approach to leadership is leading to chaos. Listen to me. It's really time consuming, and them smaller mushrooms are gonna cook faster than the big ones. It's all right, because the little ones will just but be part of it. But the little ones are gonna cook faster. Let's go now, let's go. We slice them, we're slicing them in half. This is literally the perfect example of there being way too many cooks in the kitchen. Can so I season a steak the way I want and then test it out? And by cooks in the kitchen, I mean way too many people who don't know their in the kitchen. So, Gord, is Bimmy in control of the situation? So, I thought he was in control, but it's almost like his team are now starting to control him. I think we're really kind of pushing the limits with, with this group of home cooks. Banqueting, it's like the medical school of restaurants. Mm -hmm. It's so much harder to put out quality food for 100 time. people mm -hmm. rather than a table of four. It's a big risk. They might fall completely on their face. There's 101 firefighters, 101 heroes, deserving of an incredible steak. There's not a lot of room for error. No. Holy That's a hot fire. Red team, blue team, 30 minutes to go until the firefighters arrive. Thank you. With just 30 minutes remaining for the blue and red teams to prepare their steak and two side dishes. From across Los Angeles County, 101 specially invited off-duty firefighters are on their way. But Gordon finds a potential emergency on the blue team that could cost them the challenge. Blue team. How you doing, chef? Yes, sir. Bethy. Yeah. You've got 101 firefighters coming in for lunch. There's not even a steak seared yet. It's a banquet, and they're all being served at the same time. Right. Now, even I would not attempt to cook 101 steaks all at the same time. OK. Can you at least start searing some sure, steaks off? We got it. We got it. We got it going on. Thank you, chef. Right now, we're kind of doing the cauliflower mash. We've got some leeks in there. We've got some garlic. We've got some milk. It's going to come out beautiful, so trust me, babe. What's the cumin in the cauliflower puree? I, I don't think cumin's a great idea. Beth is like one of those hipster people in Philly that I can't stand. Nutmeg might be more we brilliant than cumin. We don't have nutmeg, so that's why I suggested the cumin. You know what, Beth? I'm sick of you already. Yeah, I wouldn't do that yet. Let's keep chopping what's in this colander. Good luck with that. Me. Good luck with that. I realize it's a team challenge, but I feel responsible to give my opinion as much as possible on these dishes because I don't think Beamy can. Is that chunks? No, just can you please back off for one second, Beth? Please. But people on that team don't like to be told what to do. With just 15 minutes remaining until the 101 firefighters arrive... Here, taste the chimichurri real quick. Team Captain Bethy has finally made the decision to go with the chimichurri sauce. A little more salt, James. And James rushes to make enough in time. I should have jumped on the chimichurri right away. I knew it was the better sauce, but I got to get on it now if I want to get enough chimichurri made for all these steaks for all these firefighters. Last three minutes. The firefighters are just around the corner. Come on, all right, everybody. How are we looking on those steaks? Good. Good. With just moments to go, the red and blue teams are struggling to finish their steak in two sides. And the 101 hungry firemen are arriving for their Master Chef Heroes banquet. Red team, blue team. Heroes are here. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. We got firefighters. Guys, you owe these heroes the best dish you have ever made. It's definitely one of the best experiences ever to have these fire trucks pull up and just to know that we have to honor these guys and girls and cook them an awesome meal. Let's go. Red team, blue team, let's go, guys. My dad, he's a Portland firefighter, and countless times there'd be a massive fire and we'd be worried, okay, is he gonna come home tonight? Makes me realize how proud I am of him. My dad is an American hero. Firefighters, we would like to thank all you heroes for your bravery and your service and the amazing job that you do. This is a very small token for us, but we're hoping that both the red team and the blue team can deliver some phenomenal dishes for your exceptional lunch today and show you all how grateful we are for your amazing, undeniable services. Ladies and gentlemen, please take a seat. Thank you. With all 101 firefighters seated, they'll be served a steak entree from each team and vote for which team's dish was the best. Let's go, let's go, let's go. How are we doing? Good, good. 
The blue team is serving their steak topped with a chimichurri sauce, grilled asparagus, and potatoes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go, guys. You need to go there. And the red team is serving their steak with a simple reduction sauce, sautéed mushrooms, and a cauliflower puree. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, guys. There needs to be a system. Look at me, be me. Ten plates laid out. Ten plates, ten plates, ten plates, ten plates. Bang, in 15 minutes, you're done. Yes, chef. Come on, guys. You've made a wintry dish. It'll be winter by the time you get it out here. While the red team struggles to get their first entree out. Service for two. Service for two. The blue team is sending out plates quickly. Three servers! Three servers! Service service for two. Five. Service, service, service! Service for two! But they're making simple mistakes, and they've sent out a plate missing a key ingredient of their dish. So what are you guys thinking, red or blue? Which one did you like better? I like the seasoning on the blue, but I love the chimichurri sauce. You did? Uh -huh. I'm missing something what? on mine, but... You didn't get any of the they chimichurri did? sauce. All right, hold on a second. Let me go get you some. Oh, thanks. Hang tight. Good job, crew! We need some chimichurri sauce on this. We got a pickup. Give me one more plate on the fly. We need chimichurri sauce on this one. Come on! Move your ass and make another plate. Do I speak English? Okay. Come on! Just minutes into the firefighters' banquet service. We need some chimichurri sauce on this. Come on! And Joe is already frustrated with the blue team's lack of consistency plating their dish. We want consistency on all these plates. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. How are we doing? With the chimichurri sauce on the steak, Joe reserves the team's plate. Sorry about that. Hopefully that'll be the only incomplete plate we have. Any preferences? We got the red team and the blue team. I got red. Red? What'd yeah. you like about the red? Had more flavor. The steak was cooked better. Blue had potential, but it was too dry for too me. Too dry. How about down here? What'd you like? I, I really enjoyed the sauce on the red. Although the red team's steak is going down well with the firefighters, their lack of teamwork is slowing down their service, and the hungry guests are patiently waiting for their steak entrees to arrive. Keep moving, Chrissy, keep moving. Over here, Chrissy, behind me. Yell at me again. Please, please, please. please, please well, now please we can go. drop them right there. Let's go. There was no steak on the plate. It don't matter, then move. Hey, red team, look at me. Oh, all of you, you're the captain. Yes. Right now, pull it back together and finish strong, OK? Yes, chef. As a team. Yes, chef. Lay out the template. Mushrooms, cauliflower, steak last, sauce at last minute. Let's over go. here, Chrissy. Come on, Chrissy, I need you over here. I need you over here putting okay. the mushrooms. Let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, service. Service, please. Let's go pick up. Halfway through service, Team Captain Beamy finally has his team in line and are getting their steak entrees out to the remaining 50 firefighters that have yet to be served. Right there, mushrooms. Come on, service. Servers, right? Pick up, pick up. Let's finish up strong. Let's go. Service. Hustle, 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 hustle. hustle. We need chimichurri sauce on this one. And then we just need two more people. Two servers, please. That's it. Woo! Yeah! Your last plate, Red Team. Come on. Service. With the last guest served, our home cooks wait nervously for the firefighters to finish their banquet and declare a winner. The steaks tasted great, and I enjoyed them very much. Hands down, blue is way better than red. <laughs> I like the red best. Steaks were very delicious. Which dish did you like better, the blue team or the red team? The blue. What didn't you like about the red team's dish? Um, wasn't quite sure what this is. It's cauliflower puree. That's right. <laughs> Holy hell. Firefighters, line up and vote for the team that you think cooked you the best dish. I'm going crazy right now. We can't tell what color they're pushing up there. So we just have to wait forever. I don't know who they're picking, but I see one guy sort of lean towards one way, gives me the thumbs up. And I'm like, okay, so maybe that's our side, you know? I'm gonna put my money on the red team. You like the red team, huh? Yeah, a dreadful start, but they really pulled it back at the last minute. The sear on the red team steaks were incredible. We're all freaking out. We need this. We don't want to go to a pressure test because we have such a strong team. We don't want to have to cook against each other. The firefighters' votes cast. Gordon reveals the winner. The winning team of this amazing challenge, with 68 of the 101 firefighters' votes, is. Congratulations!
find out we won. I was so excited. I knew my dad would be proud. I was so proud of my team. We came up with an amazing dish, and I think the pressure is completely off at this point. Well done, blue team. The red team will face the dreaded pressure test. It's embarrassing. I think uh, my team had uh, poor leadership, and uh, I'm going to put the blame on myself. Blue team, come on through here and walk through these amazing heroes. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Red team, clean down the kitchens. I'll see you back at the MasterChef kitchen. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Good, good. Thanks a lot. I'm proud everybody tried the best 100%, but just face it, we made the wrong choices, period. I'm proud of our food. I think we put out good food. But how can you say that we pull out good food if 70 people out of 100 voted against us? Yeah, the cauliflower puree was disgusting. Excuse me? <laughs> you. I'm disgusting is harsh. That is disrespectful to talk about food, saying that it's disgusting. You don't call food disgusting, period. You're in a competition, you never call food disgusting. That's a terrible word to use. It didn't taste good. You know what? There were people that were in charge of it. You don't say that to someone. I didn't say anything about what happened with your meal. Because I don't do that. But I will now. Please. It doesn't matter. This is why we're in the pressure test now. With everybody yelling in the kitchen, nothing got done. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. That's why you will never be on my team, ever. Stop. No. Seriously. Sorry. You are doing nothing to help the problem. You are literally causing it. Good. We are still a team. Oh, my God. Breakdown team. much? It's my second pressure test. You don't see me falling to pieces. Everyone just calm the down. For sakes. Thank you. Thank you. After losing the firefighter challenge, the red team, led by Beamy, awaits their pressure test. I underperformed, man. I had to be more assertive on, on certain things, you know what I mean? And I sort of trusted people to do certain things, and I should have not did that. I feel that it's my fault that we lost this challenge. So if there's an opportunity for me to save myself, I'm not going to take it, man. I'm calm, I'm collective, but when someone completely throws you under the bus like that and it makes you feel like you were oh, so good. low, I was told my food was disgusting. I would never, ever do that to someone here. What do you think is the main reason why we lost? I think the bottom line was because we had the least amount of talent. Yeah, it wasn't think, even close. One out of the eight of us is going home. And I'm not happy about being in this position. I think if anyone should go home today, it should be Natasha. I'm just furious that I'm here again. Like, I don't feel like I deserve to be down here. Yesterday, in your second team challenge, you all cooked for 101 heroic firefighters. The blue team, led by Bethy, you all survived to cook another day. Great job. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Unfortunately, Beamy and the red team because you lost that team challenge, you will be facing today's pressure test. At least one of you will be leaving MasterChef tonight. What went wrong? I failed my team. We went with the wrong dish. Anybody else got anything to say? If I walked in and I was a fireman and looked at us, I wouldn't have a clue who was the leader of the ship. I had no idea. It went wrong from the beginning. He was yelling at everybody. It had to go his way. It, it was horrible. It was horrible. It went wrong everywhere. It just went wrong everywhere. Where was he? He was nowhere. Wow. There are eight of you standing before us. But not all of you will face the pressure test today. Just six of you will have to cook for your lives. Bimmy, 
as you were team captain, you are safe from elimination. You are not cooking tonight. If there's one person that shouldn't have immunity, it's Beanie. He doesn't deserve it. He's an idiot. You must now select just one other person from your team to join you up on the gallery. Who do you think did well enough? Out of everybody who was in my team, the hero of the dish, I believe, was the steak. Even though this person is sort of a threat in the competition, he was the hero, man. So I got to say Jordan. Bimmy, Jordan, off you go. I'm shocked. I'm getting out of there. If you give me the chance, I'm out. Sorry, Thank guys. you, Bimi. But I know that he's not that good a leader, and he sucks as a chef. OK, you six. One dish is going to determine your fate in this competition. It's a breakfast dish. This isn't just any old breakfast dish. This one is one of the most technically difficult. It's a MasterChef classic. Eggs Benedict. Now, four components. A perfectly poached egg sitting upon a slice of Canadian bacon, perched upon hot, crispy, buttered English muffins, smothered in rich hollandaise sauce. I'm going to kill it. I'm honestly like confident. I want to bring it on. I want to show Beth that she needs to go home. I can tell you for a fact that Eggs Benedict is an incredibly difficult, highly technical dish to perfect. Guys, it's time to head to your stations. You could not have given me anything better. I make this all the time at home. And I want, more than anything, to take Natasha out. In front of you, you all have the exact same ingredients. Five eggs, one English muffin, one lemon, Canadian bacon, white wine vinegar, Dijon mustard, tarragon, chives, clarified butter, and peppercorns. There are only enough ingredients to make us one complete portion. You only get one shot at this. You've just 30 minutes to cook us that perfect plate of Eggs Benedict. Your 30 minutes starts now. Big, big challenge. What are the most difficult things to execute on this dish? I'd split this 30 minutes into three sections of 10. First 10 minutes with hollandaise sauce. I think there's going to be maybe two out of the six contestants tonight breaking the hollandaise sauce. What causes that? Butter, way too hot. Butter, yeah, exactly. And when you pour it in, drizzle it in. Otherwise, you're going to split it. What's next? I would toast my muffins in a pan. Get some really nice color so they're crisp, because that's your base. Then, last six or seven minutes, I would start poaching my eggs. Mm -hmm. I have never made Eggs Benedict before, and I have never successfully poached an egg. Who do you think is going to nail this one? Who's going to think you can fail? I think Natasha, technically, will excel here. This dish, Eggs Benedict, is something that you'll get at a beautiful hotel or restaurant. It's not what you make at home. I think Chrissy is a strong home cook. But again, this is very refined. She eats, yeah. No, she's going to struggle. Let's go. Right, Natasha, how are you feeling? I'm feeling confident, Chef. Last time you made Eggs Benedict, when was it? Before I left to come here. Something your husband enjoys? Yeah. You make him breakfast in bed in the morning? If he's good to me. <laughs> You're feisty. <laughs> What's the secret behind your hollandaise? You know, just to kind of have the right consistency uh -huh. of it. I haven't even started haven't it started yet. That yet. I do it last. I kind of want it to be a little bit hot when it goes on there. So everybody else has got their hollandaise done first. You, of all people, rather leave the hollandaise to the end. Why? I kind of want to work my way up. Don't leave it too long before you start making that hollandaise sauce. Got it, chef. I'd be nervous with this one because things can go wrong even if you're good at it. Guys, you have 11 minutes to go. Luca, what's going on? My water is not boiling. No, it's definitely not. Are you giving up? No, I'm not giving up, but uh, how, how do you want me to make the water boil? <laughs> right, Beth, how are you doing? I've got a beautiful creamy hollandaise, a lot of experience poaching eggs. I feel really confident right now. Let's go. Start thinking. Presentation. it up. Oh, my god. 
There's no way she's getting done. Hey, Chrissy, let's take hey. the holidays. Uh, it's coming. You haven't started yet? Oh, I started. It broke. I had to start over. Yep. Wow. I mean, you only have so I, many I, eggs. I know. So all that's separating you from elimination is what's left in this bowl? Mm-hmm. I can't watch this anymore. Oh, my God. I have one egg left. You're supposed to make the holiday with at least two or three. I screwed up. I'm going home. Hey, Chrissy, let's taste hey, the hollandaise. It's coming. You haven't started yet? Oh, I started. It broke. It broke. I, started. Oh. I mean, you only have so I, many I, I eggs. Know. So all that's separating you from elimination is what's left in this bowl? Mm -hmm. How are you going to feel if you get sent home on this? That's not something that I'd uh, be proud of. If I can't get a hollandaise sauce on my eggs Benedict, I'm done. So I just start cranking. I will make this work. Just over five minutes to go. Let's go, guys. Oh, that looks good. Perfect. Wow. Wow. Don't drop it. Why are you using a spatula? Oh, oh my god. <sighs> oh. They just bought in there. Someone's gonna break one. Slotted spoon. <gasps> Good luck. Oh my gosh. Kathy just pulled the perfect poached egg out of the water with the spatula and then dropped it on her yeah, plate. Here, I'm not want... sure if the yolk broke or not. You wanna see how good it is? It's right there on my glasses. Wow. Wow. Last minute, guys. Please, stop focusing. Two completed eggs, Benedict, guys. Come on, beautiful. Just get it on the plate. 30 seconds to go. Come on, please. Oh, my god. Luca is waiting the last 20 seconds to put that on the plate. Get that last egg in. <sighs> Come on, Kathy, make it happen. Get it out, Kathy. Come on. 10 seconds. Wipe it. Garnish it. This is it. Five, four, three, two. One, and stop, all of you. I'm so hurt. OK, all of you, bring your eggs Benedict up to the front. This is master chef. It's going to be on the way. Let's go. You know, I'm looking around, hoping someone's looks worse than mine. And then I look at Natasha's. It doesn't look so good. We've got one broken egg in what appears to be mayonnaise. Gosh, it's <laughs> I feel a little bit better now. Let's go, Kathy. You dropped an egg. You use a slotted spoon, right? Yeah, that was my stupid mistake. Are those eggs running the middle? Yes. Yeah, the eggs. I cooked perfectly. So, bacon, cooked beautifully, muffin, toasted nicely, but I'm missing my sauce. That's the secret of an Egg Benedict, that rich, sumptuous, delicious sauce. There's nowhere near enough of it. You've just sort of drizzled it on there when it should be just coated. Thank you. How are you doing, Luca? Have you made these before? Yes. It's, a, it's an undercooked egg. So, it's kind of all over the place. Natasha's eggs Benedict looks the worst. I don't know what happened with her holiday, but it's bad. It's really bad. You thought you had this nailed? I thought so. And this is mayonnaise or hollandaise? What did you make? I was trying to make hollandaise. Do you know the difference between hollandaise and mayonnaise? Yes, I do. Honestly, I added a little too much vinegar, and so turned to mayonnaise.
I was careless. You ready to go? Right. So, visually, sauce broken. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So this looks like eggs vomit. Beth failed miserably. It just, it looks like a mess. You seem so confident whilst making it. I've never broke a hollandaise in my life, and there you go. Today was your unlucky day. It eggs. It really was. Slightly undercooked. Wow. It's like a cold scrambled egg. No, it's awful. Holy We would have made that dish better by leaving the sauce off. I just feel embarrassed right now. And to go home on Eggs Benedict would be the worst. I'm definitely not Beth's biggest fan. And quite honestly, she's a little spacey. I would love to see her go home. Tonight's pressure test... Eggs Benedict. ...has so far tripped up four home cooks. You know the difference between hollandaise and mayonnaise? This looks like eggs vomit. Now, just two remain to be tasted. So, how many times have you made this? Eggs Benedict? Zero. I've never made it before. Never made it before? No. Okay. Let's see. Pretty, pretty beautiful. Thank See how you, it chef. still kind of holds in there? Almost like a pasta filling. You guys all see that? That's perfect. It's rich, buttery, pretty near perfect Benedict. Good job. Thank you, chef. Now, last I left you, you were working with like half an egg scrap. How did you make all this hollandaise appear out of that? I had a yolk and a half. Where'd you have it? Hidden? Because I only saw a half a yolk. Well, I used a yolk and a half from the first one. I had a half a one. Uh, well, this is good. This is what it's supposed to look like, right? Yeah. Let's see. Wow. The muffin is crunchy. Everything is seasoned. Perfect. Thank you. OK, let's be clear, that was a very tough pressure test. Some of you rose to the occasion, but at least one of you will be going home. Right now, we need a moment to discuss. So... Did you see how burnt Beth's muffins were at the bottom? Yeah. The yeah. What's that? Why are they black on the bottom? She dumped in the oven. Luca had the same thing. Yeah. He put it right in the oven. They didn't even toast it in a pan. No. And Natasha, who should have nailed this, makes mayonnaise. Yeah, cold. Yeah. The rest cold of the dish was perfect. Cold. We could all go home. Two of us could go home. Whatever is going to happen is unexpected. Maybe I'm going home. Maybe they just my girl egg. I mean, it's pretty obvious. There are two right. dishes that stand out. Probably. Absolutely. Yeah. But there are four that are all in the same boat. Right? So, I mean, what do you do at that point? Yeah, four people who didn't even reach the objective, shot. really. No. They didn't make the dish. That's what I mean. All four. All four. That was a pressure test and a half. There were two dishes that stood out for all the right reasons. The dishes were head and shoulders above the competition. The first dish, Chrissy, you are safe from elimination. Great job. Head up to the gallery. Well done. Good job. Good job. There was another home cook that executed the eggs Benedict with all the skill of a chef. You're safe. Please go upstairs. Well done. Really well done. OK. All four of you, this wasn't easy. We give you an immense pressure test. And do you know what? It was too close to call. 
I can't go home today. This is not the way I'm supposed to go out. None of you nailed it. Well, we can't decide. All four of you. We'll be leaving the kitchen. No. Oh, my God. What? It's crazy. They think that our plates are so bad that we deserve all four of us to go home. I'm devastated right now. I don't, I don't think my time here was... It was time for me to leave. All four of you will be walking out those doors and in to an even greater challenge. OMG. Where we will decide which one of you will not be coming back to the MasterChef kitchen. Holy Follow us now. I don't care what they throw at me. I don't care how scary, how intense. It's another chance and I'll take it. Let's go. I'm nervous, I'm anxious, I'm scared. This competition is twisted. I don't know what's gonna happen now. Oh my God. Let's go. Next time on MasterChef, the pressure test continues. This isn't just any Vegas restaurant. It's mine. As the competition doubles down for a battle royale in Sin City. It's still moving, it's that raw. There's no space for any mistake. They're good, they're good. She's burning buns again. Sorry, chef. Find out who's all in. Gordon, the VIPs are in the house. Holy And which two will go head to head on top of the Las Vegas Strip? The stakes don't get any higher than this. One potato, two potato.